love seeing people love life. Happy Christmas and Merry New Year to you. I just gave Anthony his Christmas present. Um, <laughs> I have uh, Darth Vader socks on. <laughs> and now he's going to have to figure out how to put the... Snap! Okay, he's already started wrong. The, the, they, those go in the back, and I'm not I'm not helping you the way that the woman helped me understand how to put them on. So go ahead. one leg in each leg. Yep. So far, so good. All right. I'm going like this. So so now that's not it. No. Uh, yeah. You're, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Not underneath the carriage. So now what you do is. You pull this out. <laughs> so now, a little plug to Julia Ricks, you have absolutely no excuse for not going down the street and getting a Thai yoga massage from Julia because you now have the clothing appropriate for said massage. Or I can't find my sunglasses anywhere. I knew this was hap would happen. I, I knew that I needed to get home and I needed the first thing I needed to do, I mean, after I slept for 16 hours. <laughs> I knew the first thing I needed to do was just out of the suitcases and out of the bags and put it all out so that I could put it back where it goes in its exact place. Because I can't find my sunglasses. And my eyes, I don't do well with bright light. I really need to have, the reason I have the glasses that I have is for light. It's, it's just, it's tough because I, I, I know, I know I packed them. I know I did. But the other problem is that everything that I own is black. 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 I don't own this, but it's black. Battery. By the way, Amazon Basics, battery powered thing that charges your phone. Awesome. In fact, my phone is. Oh, my phone's right here. I should charge it. There we go. Alright, so everything that I have other than my Mac is black. And so when you reach into the bag, you can't see it because everything is I am so out out of my element right now. First of all, I got a new coffee mug for Christmas from Steven. But I'm at rent a camera and I'm not allowed to touch cameras, and I am surrounded by cameras. I can't touch anything in this building. See, I was on a shoot. We were doing a music video several years ago. This is before I was with people like Steven. But see that guy right there? See that guy right there? The only camera that was on the shoot, that guy right there, and I dropped it onto the ground. And I broke it right there. 
that's why I can't touch campus. That's why I feel more comfortable leaving this facility. It's, it's not that I hate cameras. I don't hate cameras. I love cameras. I marvel at what they're able to do. They just hate him. But they, they're scared of me because I don't treat them nicely. And yeah. Okay. Let's talk. I need to just go ahead and honestly say this out loud to the internet. I'm a filmmaker um, in that I'm making a documentary with my partners and we are working on a screenplay and doing other stuff. I have never seen in its entirety Seven Samurai. I've tried. I've tried several times. I know that it's kind of a staple and we're supposed to, we as filmmakers are supposed to know Kurosawa and know the work that came from Kurosawa. I just can't do it. And by way of that, I've also never seen Magnificent Seven, either the original or the re-release of it. The original, of course, being a remake of Seven Samurai in the form of a Western. I haven't seen The, Ma the Magnificent Seven, because I don't want to see The Magnificent Seven until I've seen Seven Samurai. And I can't get through Seven Samurai, so I can't watch Magnificent Seven. I thought I was over the jet lag. I'm not over the jet lag. Um, I was at the office with Steven and we were working on a proposal and it just hit me. Mm -hmm. 